Hey there, Cancerians. Welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot channel. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started. We're going to be focusing on, um, this isn't going to be, you know, a romantic reading or anything of that nature. The intention is being set to be around you to see what's going on with you in general, okay? So let's go ahead and let's get started. Tell me about Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Cancer, there's something significant about a woman in your life. Whoever this woman is in your life, she's going through something. Yeah, see, message of concern. There's a woman in your life that's going through something. So you, they may contact you. This woman may reach out to you. Now, see, I told you I was not trying to um, read about love. But there could be something attached to this person. That's going through uh, some sort of lover's situation. Maybe they're in a relationship with someone and they're concerned about it and they may reach out to you for some sort of assistance, some sort of guidance. I don't know, but they're connected to you. Yeah, see, here comes concern again. This is someone that's privileged. See, and look, money. Why are they coming into your reading? Oh, they may do, they have money. Yeah, this person has money. They're thinking of you. Whoever this person is. Distant horizon. Message of concern. They're going to contact you. Whoever this person is, they are going to contact you. They're going through something in a relationship. They have money and they are going to contact you. This may have something to do with the work. Maybe they know something about you when it comes to work. I don't know. Let's see. I'm, I heard um, some of you may be getting like dreams or it feels like something around being forewarned about this. That's why I said dreams, like spiritual, like some some sort of like spiritual guidance around dealing with this woman. See, yeah, because look, we got here transformation. So the whoever this person is, the reason why I feel like you may be getting prepared, because remember we saw a distant horizon right here. They're going to make their way to you, but I feel like you're getting prepared to receive them. When they contact you, because this could be someone that you had a difficult relationship with, but I'm seeing here they're they're going through a transformation, and I feel like this transformation has to do with something around um, a relationship they were in. Why is this significant to Cancers? Full moon. Look, see conversation, communication. You may hear from this person during the next full moon, but either way, this is making me feel like something being hidden. I feel like this person may even be depressed, but they're going to contact you. Hmm. There's something significant about this. And we got two messages of concern, and then we, we got a message of concern right here, and then the concern in the distant horizon. So there's two messages of concern that's coming your way in the distant horizon. One being this person and then there's another person that's coming in as well. But this person is thinking about reaching out to you to have a conversation with you. What else do they... And, the, and this lets you know there's something around money. Abundance. This is someone that's privileged. They have a lot of money. I feel like they have more money than you. That's how you will know them. What is this conversation about? We got here forgiveness. They're gonna want forgiveness. Yeah, see, this is someone wealthy. They're gonna they're gonna want to give you money. Look, look at how they're they're gonna be showing off. Like, I'm not talking about like showing up like, hey, look at me, but like they're going to want to gift you something financially. That's because I thought this person has more money than you. They're going to want to give you something financially. 
Hmm. Let's see, what else can you tell me about this for cancers? Like, why are they wanting to, they want forgiveness. So are they trying to buy your forgiveness? A pro oh, you may have a problem. You may have a problem. That's why I said you may be, I feel like with this full moon, it makes me feel like spirit, God, source, whatever higher power is putting you both on each other's mind. There's some sort of problem that you may have that this person may be able to help you with. It says problem solver. It also says here resourceful and clever. And this is someone you've had some sort of quarrel with or argument with. There is something here that happened. But here, look, this card was flipped over. Look what it says, transformation, change. And what does that card say? Transformation. So since you and this person had this argument, they have changed. And I feel like it took going through something. It took going through something for this person to change. So they may be more generous than what they were in the past. So I feel like don't allow with this strength card, because I'm look at how this bull is looking. So you may feel some type of way. Don't allow that energy to block you because this person has changed. And I feel like for those of you that have a problem, they will want to help you. So don't let pride or anything block you. This person wants to help you. Again, problem solver. The raccoon keeps coming up. This is someone that's clever, business savvy, creative, generous. You may have a business that you're trying to get up off the ground. They're going to want to help you. Maybe you're having issues at your job. This person has connections. This is someone that has connections. See, lucky, happy coincidence. They're going to be in some sort of need and you're going to be in some sort of need. And I feel like that's how it's going to work out. Because I told you, I feel like both of you are being put on each other's mind. But it's not a coincidence that you're being put on each other's mind. I'm seeing an incoming call. So there's going to be a conversation on forgiveness. We got here um, unexpected, coincidence, happy, luck, good fortune. But see, that's what I'm saying, that power struggle. There could have been a power struggle issues. Like both of you could be, um, you know, have like, um, I feel like the power struggle could have been control though. Like maybe someone could have been trying to control you, this person. Maybe they could have been judgmental. Yeah, I could see, I'm seeing here this ball and chain. This person may have like a dominant type of energy codependent type of energy it says here an unhappy marriage emotional baggage see the chain is free that's why we saw lovers they're going through a breakup and or a divorce so that's probably why they also want to get some things together because they're not having that person that was always there for them they're not having that person there so they're trying to reconnect with people especially the people that they feel are valuable and I feel like when it comes to assets, when it comes to money, they, they have a lot. So they want to give it to someone like you and not the person that they could have been um, married to. Because I feel like there is some, there's some, with this moon, there's some depression here that they're hiding around that relationship. I'm going to look at the other concern in a second. I'm going to tap into your energy around this. We got here. Yeah, see, hidden. Secrets. Didn't I just tell you that? They're hiding it. They're hiding it. They're, we got church in reverse. So this person, they're going through a transformation. They could have once been very religious because church is coming in reverse. They could have been very religious. But we got here programming, a belief system, a structure, but they're not in that energy. They're actually questioning their beliefs. They're actually looking to break free from what they believed in. Because I feel like whatever this separation is, it's really, uh, it really challenged them. It really made them have to go within whoever this person is. Let's see what your energy is. Tell me about um, the viewer's energy around this person. 
and or this situation. The Nine of Cups is coming in for your energy. This is someone you were very loving towards. That's what I'm saying. That's why they are wanting to come towards you because you were very kind. You were very sweet. This is someone you actually love. You definitely showed them love. And you could have even went out of your way for this person. Hmm. I, I feel like that strength card, that was pride about this person wanting to help you though. Cause they're gonna, and that's why I said, don't allow that to block you. Let this person help you. Cause I feel like it's meant, cause I told you, I feel like they're, you're being put on their mind to do so. You're going to have like, I feel like guys, there's going to be a lot of abundance. People returning back into your life and wanting to pour into you. You're about to get blessed for things that you did in the past. The love, the grace, the kindness that you were showing people in the past, even though you had to pull back and start setting boundaries, boundaries and standards, you're about to start to get blessings for that because now people are starting to see how significant your presence was in their life. That's what I'm saying. Now, see here, look at this, the nine of cups. You're about to be out. It even feels like double dates for some of you. Celebration. The ladybug is here. Your luck is about to change. I feel like, I don't know. It just feels like this person is like struggling. And I feel as though, like it's like, here's the energy. They're going to be still going through some stuff and some sadness. And I feel like you're going to be trying to uplift them. And I'm hearing like a Debbie Downer. <laughs> That's what I'm giving here. It's like they're not trying to be that. But I feel like here there's still some sadness that's attached to them. And I feel like you're trying to cheer them up. I'm also seeing you be this magician and this high priestess, honey. The king of cups. What are you? You got a lot... Things in your life are changing. I feel like you are going to accept what this person is doing because you're going to take whatever they give you and you're going to turn it into something. I told you, here's that high priestess giving spiritual information. She is holding a book. That's what I'm saying. Spirit is helping you and this person, reconnecting you with this person because you're meant to do something. You're meant to use your gifts, your talents. Your, this person has the resources and they're, you're going to use their resources to manifest. I'm also getting here for someone a secret pregnancy. I feel like because because I'm getting here, there's there's this energy around like you. Some of you are going to be very cautious about what you're what you're revealing. There's something around being quiet, being secretive around your relationship. And also for those of you that get pregnant, I feel like keeping it a secret until the time being. Because you have a lot of rejoice around you, a lot to celebrate. But I feel like you're going to be very private about it. It's like not trying to throw it in anyone's face. Yeah, because I feel like here, especially with this Seven of Wands... There's still some resentful, bitter energy around you from other people that have been blocked. There are some people that are still resentful and bitter. I'm talking about like, uh, like people that in the past, not this energy, but other energies from the past. There are some resentful people that you were dealing with, some bitter people, because there's their success around you. But I feel like there's their success has been blocked. Because of what they could have been trying to do to others. It's like they're getting their karma for how they treated you and or other people. But I'm seeing you just being very low key about what you're manifesting. And only having like people that are really significant in your life around you. Alright, let me see um, what else you need to know. And then I'll tap into that second concern. What else can you tell me about cancers? I'm seeing you going on dates with someone. Like, I'm getting here like a double date. 
picnics, outside, being more out. We got here crafter. There's something wonderful just waiting to be expressed with your hands. See, the universe will meet all your needs. Consider having a money altar. Call upon your spirit guides and angels to assist you during this time. That's what I'm saying. That's why I said accept it because how you're, see, when you're calling upon them for help, how they deliver is out of your control. How they answer your prayer is out of your control. They're going to answer it, but you have no control over how it's answered. They're going to use this person to be an answer to one of your prayers or to be an answer. They're going to be one of the answers. Transfer. See, you're going somewhere. You may have to see, I told you gift. They have a gift for you. You're going to have to travel to go see them. They have a gift for you. This card is a good indicator that things will start moving for you rather quickly. This is a lot of money. Someone might give you a gift, lend you money or help you in some way. Because you're going, I told you the magician, using your hands, creating something. They're going, they're like, I got it. I can help you. Let me help you. I want to help you. I have the money. I'm privileged. Well, I can help you. They want you to make the money. What else? Entertainer is coming in. We got here. It says, put yourself out there and bring out the best in you so you get noticed. So whatever you're doing, you may have to put yourself out there and get noticed. This craft that you have this skill and or talent and or gift and or product you're going to have to put yourself out there in a different way and this says here your efforts have not gone unnoticed success is just around the corner this this also like i said this gift it feels like from something in the past that you've done and it's coming around now to bless you to be a blessing it says, watch your credit card balance. It says, don't let the balances of your credit cards get too high. Put something aside for a rainy day. Stay within your budget. Start living within your means. And look, see, celebrate. Didn't I say, see, you're going to be right here. Celebration. Look, there go drinks right there. Cheersing. Here it is right there. This is cheersing because of whatever this is that you're doing. They're telling you, be prudent now. Now that the money is coming in, start creating a budget. Be more um, practical, more realistic, and more uh, mindful of how you're spending your money because it's going to be coming in and you're going to be dealing with uh, money that you're not used to because you're going to have more than what you are used to having. It says you've accomplished so much and you will, ac see, you will accomplish much more. It says take some time off and celebrate your success. You deserve it. There may be an unforeseen increase in your income. Unforeseen unforeseen income uh, increase in your income reconsider a decision because you may want to say no to it so you're saying reconsider it this is the answer to a prayer see caution see your money you're burning through money and spirit say i'm trying to answer your bless i'm trying to answer your prayer it's just coming in a way that you may not like it reconsider it don't be so quick to say no because maybe you feel like this person is looking at you as some sort of charity case but like I told you guys earlier, don't and don't be afraid to ask this person because this person is like a business person. They're very savvy. They can help you get organized. They can help you budget. They're good with the money. They're used to a lot of money. So this person is going to be a blessing in your life if you want them to. All right. So let's see what's this next message of concern. Oh, spotlight and recognition. This is in reverse. So I feel like a setback. See? Plan A, plan B, plan C. So I feel like you may get some sort of... Y'all yeah, can look over here. We got despair and sorrow. So I feel like you may get some sort of message that's going to feel like a setback. Alright? But I don't feel like it is. I feel like it's all happening as it's meant to happen to prepare you to receive this person. That's going to help you. Tell me about this um, setback. Renew. I told you, look, a powerful inner transformation. It says leave old flames, embrace the new, 
release of energy and emotions. It says playing with fire. I feel like a setback is actually a set up for you, a renewal. Because I'm also seeing here, there's someone, we got secrets. There's someone that could have been trying to, look, we got, didn't I tell you about you moving in silence? You moving, it says right here, you being quiet too. Yeah, there's a woman. But I feel like there's something about this woman trying to cause a setback. Why is this woman showing up? Yeah, they're mad. Ooh. All right, I'm not going to go too far into that. Go watch the previous reading. Because I feel like someone was trying to block your opportunities. And that's why I said this set, setback is actually a setup. God is going to answer your prayer. God is sending someone to help you. There was a woman that was trying to block you. That's why you're probably going to be quiet about your blessings. They were trying to block a connection. But you got divine intervention coming in. And this person is angry that whatever it is, this woman rather, is angry that whatever they were doing to try to cause you despair, it didn't work. It actually backfired. It actually is, it is backfiring right now. It is backfiring on them. What they were trying to do to you is actually happening to them. That's why it's a concern. It's not a concern for you. It's a concern for them. We got here deep thinking. Thinking twice on a decision. The second time about decision. Thinking twice on a de decision. Why is this significant for cancers? To think twice about a decision. Whether it's this one and or something else. Yeah, see, look, game over, cutting ties. Deep thinking about someone that you could have cut ties with or ended it with. We got here movement, the evil eyes in reverse, money inheritance, shock. See, someone think twice. Because this evil eye is lifting. You're able to now progress and move forward. Someone wants to give you money. And I thought like you're going to be shocked by who it is. This could come from a whole nother person as well. Because I told you it felt like two people. So that's what I'm saying. You're going to have people resurfacing back into your life wanting to bless you. People you've cut ties with. That's what I'm saying. Think twice about turning these offers down. And see, peace. They're coming in peace. Look, opportunities coming your way. People looking to make peace with you. Yep, You have a gift. You have a gift that's waiting to be expressed. Your gift is going to bring in victory for you. That's why Spirit's saying, be careful about making such a quick snap judgment. Really think it through. All right, let's see. What is the final advice for the viewer? Surrender to miracles. Uh-oh. And look, defensiveness is what came out. <laughs> it says, surrender to miracles. Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. There are going to be miracles coming your way. And we saw presence, so this feels soon. And see, you don't have to do anything. Surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. They're coming to you. I told you. They're coming to you. You pray. Now get out of the way. They're coming to you. Be still. Let's take one final card. Stubbornness. Surrender stubbornness. If you are tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. Surrender your ego. Cultivate gratitude. Be of service to others. See, someone is surrendering their ego and wanting to be of service to you. Because an ego, ego in the past or power struggles was working against you and this person. And look, surrender your need to always be right. Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. And we got inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments. Focus on stillness within and enjoy this refuge. 
others will feel your good vibes. So you're being encouraged to do some things to help instill inner peace within so that these other people can feel those vibes. It will make them be more receptive to approaching you and less intimidated because we saw you taking this rigid stance. That's why I said I feel like spirit is preparing you to be open to the people that are coming back into your life that are going to be blessings. All right, anything else? Anything else? Let's wrap this up. Any final message? Yeah. Yep, I'm seeing whip in reverse. So, yeah, they were looking to fix things. These are people you had some sort of disagreement with. Specifically, it feels like two. We got here illness, fatigue, stress, anxiety, worry, restless, nagging. Someone is really afraid, like so much so is stressing them out. All right, this feels like it's moving into that, um, yeah, see, a letter. This is a romantic interest. This person is really afraid. So much so is stressing them out. Communicating. You, you're going to get a letter, and I've been seeing in the past few readings some sort of communication coming to you uh, because they can't do it face-to-face. -face. They're too afraid, and what they have to say is really deep, really emotional, and they want to write it out rather than face you and tell you this initially. All right, so that's moving into the love section. And we didn't want to really focus too much on that, but it's coming through, so I had to tell you guys. All right, I'll wrap things up. I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye.